I have a real tough time believing that any reindeer on Earth has ever eaten one of these. <laughs> Greetings and welcome back to another Santalicious episode of the podcast. I'm your host as always, Jason Oliveira. Before we get into the review and demo for the reindeer chow today, I have a few things I just want to talk about real quick. Because this is Thanksgiving and this time of the year gets a little busy and I've got things going on outside of the podcast in my life at the moment, um, you might start seeing some old episodes that I filmed. I have about 10 that I've sat on for about a year that I keep pushing back because newer and cooler stuff comes out. And because of that, they just kept getting pushed out. So if you see some where I've got shorter hair or maybe a tank top, that'll explain it. Um, Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat, and obviously there's a lot going on this time of year. So I'm hoping to finish out about five new review and demo for you guys. Once again, I apologize for not having a Dungeons & Dragons episode out this Wednesday, which I like to do every Wednesday. However, it's a crazy time of year, so... Needless to say, there might be some videos that get pushed back a little bit. However, starting in January, things will start to loosen up. We'll get back on our schedule of new reviews and demos and some Dungeons & Dragons stuff. As the road to 50 continues and we move closer and closer to that final date of February 28th, which is just around the corner, I do plan on having some kind of a gathering for the end of the road party, kind of like we did last time. Not here in the house, but we'll do a virtual thing. So keep an eye out for that and... I have a very, very, very special announcement to make, but I'm not prepared to make it yet. Uh, the gears are turning. Something's happening. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. I just can't let you know what it is yet. But keep your eyes peeled before the end of the year. It will be a video that I'm hoping is getting released before then. However, I can't tell you too much about it yet. So as soon as I can tell you more... I will tell you more. But let's get into the review and demo today. Let's try out these uh, reindeer chow. Okay. What a wonderful combination. Chocolatey and peanut butter coating over crisp corn and wheat cereal squares. Then dredged in tumbling of white powdered sugar, the perfect little reward for yourself or for your favorite holiday visitors. But you might want to keep an extra bag hidden so you have a little left for Santa's plate of cookies. Just saying. The reindeer need that attention, too. Um, they sound delicious. They sound delightful. Palmer, oddly enough, they are the Christmas candy. They last year put out some great Christmas candy. Their chocolates have improved greatly since I was a kid. I remember them being the cheap brand, and I still kind of think they are the, the cheaper brand, but their quality and taste has improved over the years, and so I hope this is going to be just as good. So without further ado, let's bust into these. Let's see what the reindeer are enjoying these days. So I'll pour a few out on my hand so you can see. That's kind of what I expected. You think reindeer would like those? I bet a reindeer would like those. I bet you I'm going to like them. Here we go. Let's find out. As expected, they're pretty good. I like that they're all contained within that little check cereal piece. The white powdered sugar on top, there's a lot of that. It's very sweet. I'm not getting a ton of chocolate or peanut butter, though, to be completely honest. Getting a lot of checks and a lot of white powdered sugar, which is not a bad thing. It's tasty. If that was a cereal, I would definitely eat it. I'm sure there is a cereal very similar to that out there. But these might be a treat better fit for reindeer because I got to say, they're pretty standard. They're pretty average. I kind of knew what to expect. Not that that's a bad thing, so I'm going to give them a six. Uh, if you're out there, if you have the Dollar General, that's where I found these. I'm sure they have these at Walmart, too. Palmer is not exclusive to anybody as far as I know. I'd say give them a whirl. They're not bad. If you're looking for a little sweet treat to have while you're watching some Christmas movies, maybe doing a little caroling, it's a nice thing to have in your pocket. Just shove it in there. Kind of take a few pieces out. You finish Jingle Bells, have a little snack. There you go. And coming out sometime before the end of the year, we are going to be doing the uh, Fudge Covered Peppermint Cream Bentons from Aldi. I found these the other day. A little overpriced. I think they were $3.95, and if I'm not mistaken, there's probably about eight or nine of these in here. I think this may be the company that does the strange numbers. I'm not quite sure, but I thought it was uh, Trader Joe's, but I think it's Aldi. So, anywho, that's going to wrap up today's review and demo. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season, no matter what you celebrate. Um, and if you guys are loving the content I'm creating as much as I love creating the content that you guys are watching, would you please consider subscribing to the channel? It would be a huge favor for me. I'm trying to reach 700 before we hit the end of the year. We're only about 28 off at the time. So if you know somebody who might enjoy watching a middle-aged man uh, eating snacks and telling you what they think about them or talking about D&D, &D, 
please subscribe and pass it along to them. And don't forget to make somebody smile today and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier and a little bit more festive together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and the rain as one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love, but never let your inner child die. Ooh -ee. Take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and take care of those around you who cannot take care of themselves, for they are the ones that need it the most. And if no one has told you today that they love you, the vodcast loves you very much just the way you are. All right, guys, do no harm. I'm Jason Oliver. This is the vodcast, and I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road to 50. Take care, my friends, and have a happy holiday season. Don't go to sleep with a catch it in your pocket. <laughs>